Hi, Becca C. Smith here, and today I'm going to talk about outlining. I know there are planners out there, there are pantsters. I am a planner, but I totally get both processes. I am pretty rigid in the way that I plan. It's just been from a lot of years of taking pieces from different books and formats. I started out as a screenwriter, so I'm kind of crazy when it comes to structure. I completely admire people that can twist and turn structure to make some amazing piece of artwork. I am not one of those people. <laughs> I, I, I love structure. I know. I love it. I love my act one, my act two, my act three, and it really helps me. So this is how I outline. Okay, so this is how I outline. Now everyone outlines differently, but this is how I do it. I'm working in Scrivener right now, but the way that I outline can be done in any document. I've, I've just recently switched over to Scrivener, well, the last couple years. Recent for me, since I've been writing for 30 something years. <laughs> but uh, I really enjoy it because I can put all of my files into one place. So this is what we're going to do. So let's say I want my book to be roughly around 70,000 words, so 70K. And I want each chapter to be around 3,000 words, so 3K. So if you do the math, that ends up being about 23.33333. So I just round it up to 24 chapters. This is my baseline. So I know I am super uber crazy formatted, but that's just the way my brain works and it's the way I like to write. And it's the way I like to outline. And now I make 24 chapters. Now remember this number right here, this, this can change. Like you can mess around with this formula all you want. But if you want longer chapters and less of them, then you may only want 20 chapters and, and so on and so forth. But the principle remains, the ratios still work no matter what numbers you plug in. But this is the, this is for this example, we're going to do this. Okay. So next I divide it up into acts. Since I wrote screenplays for so many years, this is the, the formula. Okay. So let's say 120 page script. The first 30 pages is act one. The the next 60 pages is act two. And then the resolution or the ending is the last 30 pages, act three. So you can see the ratio, 30, 60, 30. If you're gonna do this ratio to this, that would mean the first six chapters are act, act one, the middle chapters would be seven through 18, and then 19 through 24 would be act three. So what I do is I highlight that just so I can remember. So now you can kind of see a colorful visual representation of each act. This helps me because when I'm building my outline, now I know where I need my first plot point to be, or I guess the inciting incident um, in books, uh, where I need my second plot point to be, which would be um, the beginning of the resolution, and then the setup, which is the first six chapters, an intro, and then the resolution to the ending in the last six chapters. And then this is up to you. So what helps me is if I have specific chapters or scene ideas, I'll put them in. So if I know a character dies and I want that to be roughly around the climax, I'd say chapter 13, usually like middle of the book. So I would say, uh, let's say her name is Jean. Jean dies. And then what's nice about this is that then I can build up to that. So I know I have these chapters to build up to that. But let's say I know my turning point, like my inciting incident. I know what that is. It is when Jean makes a pact with a demon. Jean makes a pact with a demon. We know that doesn't go too well for her because she dies. Then we know she comes back to life as a zombie. Jean wakes up as a zombie. It's quite an interesting book. I may have to write it. 
Okay, so anyway, this is where I build, but this is just plot. So my first pass on outlining is plot. And once I have everything plotted out, <clears throat> then I move on to character arc planning. Let's say, okay, maybe, let's pretend this is all filled out with plot. But one of the part of her character arc is when she makes a pact with the demon. This is just the act. She makes a pact with it. But what? A, where is her arc at this point? So this is where I'm like, Jean is destitute. She can't think clearly. She's at the end of her rope, let's say. So, so basically I want my character to be at their... In terms of her arc, this is this is the moment she can't think of any other solution. She's just in this depressive state, and this feels like the only way out is to make this pact with the demon. So that's that's part of her arc, and I want it to be at plot point one. Like that is the reason why, plot wise, she makes the pact because her arc is putting her into that position. I have to think about what I want her to learn in this story. Where where does her arc go? And then that would probably go somewhere in either the third act or maybe the end of act two. But again, that's something that you would need to work out on whatever her arc is. And since this is a completely made up story, I don't know who Jean is and I don't know what the story is. <laughs> I don't know what her arc is. But obviously apply this to your book and what you would do. To break it down, the first thing I do is break up the acts. But the first pass, first pass is plot outlining and second pass is character arc outlining. And this goes for all characters. So yeah, we just briefly kind of went over Jean's arc, but if you have multiple characters and they have multiple arcs, plot-wise we're probably just going to be following her. The arcs will be mainly what you'll be plotting out for the rest of the characters. So that's it. That's how I outline. I know it seems really simplistic, but it's it works for me. In my current book that I'm working on, I have three different POVs and it's 30 chapters because it's three different POVs and I want each character have 10 chapters. Let's see if I can show you. Hey, we're on Kill KO Peak. Ooh, look, there's the map. And as you can see up here in the left-hand corner, I have an outline for each girl. So Alara's is done. Ceres obviously is not and Nema's obviously definitely not. But then I have the main outline where you can see where I did the same thing. So the first of course, the first act is way more beefy because I have it more planned out. <laughs> and then you've got the second act, and then you've got the third act. So I still do the same thing in all of my books, whether I'm doing multiple point of views or not. Yeah, I still have the three-act structure, no matter how many points of view there are. I hope that helps. I would show you how I outline a specific book, but then you would know everything that was going to happen in that book, and I don't want that. I gotta have some secrets. And just so you know, I talked about this in a live with Kate Cavanaugh. We were kind of discussing because she does what's called a zero draft. And the more I kind of picked her brain about that, the more I sort of realized that her zero drafts are her way of processing the story, almost like the most detailed outline ever. <laughs> but it is the way that she can explore plots or explore story arcs to the point that when she actually does her first draft, then she really focuses on structure. I kind of do that in my outlining process. So I, you know, when I have a character go this way one day, I think it through and a few days later, I'm like, no, wait, that shouldn't be this way. This should be this way. And then I change it in the outline. So it's interesting how writers will go through the same process of trying to figure out their characters and figuring out the plot. They just do it in different ways. And so outlining is the way that I do that. I hope any piece of this helps you guys. It is Preptober. I wish you all the good luck. 
But let me know in the comments what you guys are gonna do for Nano. Are you a planner or are you a painster? I would love to know. And thank you guys so much for joining and I will see you in the next one. Bye.